and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today, I'm going to be doing two looks featuring the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Lure Palettes. Ooh. This is exciting to me. What can I say? I love the brand. Every time she comes out with an eyeshadow palette, I buy it because I love the matte formula from Blend Bunny. It's one of my favorite matte formulas. Very pigmented, very blendable. And when I saw this mermaid themed collection, I was definitely intrigued. These aren't typically the colors I go for. I am more of like a neutral grungy type girl, but I thought this was really fun for the spring and the summer. And I was just excited to give this a shot. So I did pick up the palette. Now with this collection, she also did release a quad of multi-chromes and I did not pick that up just because it was a little expensive. Not saying that the price isn't justified because it is, but I just budget wise didn't really feel like I should be picking that up. If you do enjoy this video while you're watching it, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you'd consider subscribing before you leave. I'm gonna link this palette down below as well as everything I'm wearing in both looks. And if you are not interested in hearing about the palette and you just wanna go to the looks, I always leave timestamps down in the description box so you can skip through and watch whatever it is that you wanna watch. So let me tell you a little bit about the palette. First of all, the packaging is super pretty. It's got like a sparkle detail to it, but the sparkles don't come off on your hands. So that's really fun. It looks like scales, beautiful. I love that it's the 24 pan. So it's a little bit smaller, like her all done up palettes. And I always love how Blend Money does columns with the gradients, light, medium, deep, all in that same undertone. You could stick to a column, you can mix and match. So I think that's really user friendly. 24 shades for the mermaid within. Shades inspired by the fantasy of mermaids, tales of pirates and the beauty of the ocean. Our signature trios of depth, mid and transition tones in a variety of magical tones for all your mermaid inspired looks. We can't wait to see the beauty you create with our Lure palette, $46. At the time that I'm filming this video, the palette is still available. So I will link it down below. I only did two looks, which you're looking at is look number two. So I am gonna continue to use this palette and what I do at the end of every month, I usually do a palette ranking video where after I've had a good chance to use palettes for a good amount of time, I give my final review. So this isn't a final review. It's just kind of my first and second impression, but uh, spoiler alert, I love it. I'm gonna let you see both of the looks. Look number one is coming at you now. I will see you back for look number two. All right, I'm super excited to create my first look with the Lure palette. If you've been here before, you know I love Blend Bunny. I think the shadows from the brand are so good, particularly their matte shades. So I am going to create something, I think pretty simple today. I don't really have a lot of time. So I wanna do a more quote neutral look as usual more with this row over here, column, column. And I definitely wanna play with the multi-chrome. I have not even swatched this palette yet. I'm so excited. You're gonna have to let me know if you also picked this palette up or if you skipped out on it, let me know. It looks gorgeous. I've already primed my eyes with the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. It does look a little pink toned because I wore the Strawberry Shortcake palette from Glam Light yesterday and it did stain my lids a little bit, which I don't mind, but that's why it's a little pink. I'm gonna go in with the shade Storm Ahead through the crease. That color is so beautiful. It's like a dusty mauve. Ooh, so pretty. And as usual, it blended out really easily, really beautifully, no issues at all whatsoever. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Pirate's Life, which is like a cool toned brown. And I'm just gonna place this lower in the crease. Now I'm gonna go in the outer corner with the shade Black Sea, which, is it black? It looks black, but I don't know how black. We're about to find out. Yeah, that's, that's quite black. I'm going to literally repeat those three mattes on the lower lash line, Black Sea right up against the lash line, then smudge it out with Pirate's Life and then blend that out with Storm Ahead. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the NYX Glitter Primer all over my lid, and I'm gonna go into the shade Pearl, which is the multi-chrome. I'm so excited. Ooh. I don't 
know that you're really gonna see that. <laughs> but it's like green, pink, silver, a little bit of blue. Absolutely beautiful. Really beautiful. Now I will say that shade's a little more of a flakier shade. So I would definitely suggest either putting down a glitter primer, wetting your brush or doing your eyes first. But wow, is that absolutely beautiful. That's a showstopper right there. I'm gonna go off camera and do the little finishing touches, put on some liner and lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the finished look number one. What do you think? I love it. I love it. I have been loving purples lately, and this definitely pulls pretty purple, in my opinion. Even though in the pan they look kind of brown, they definitely are purples with a brown undertone or browns with a purple undertone. What I'm trying to say is they show up very purple on my eyes, which I don't hate at all. And this multi-chrome is the showstopper. Like I'm usually a psycho for their mattes, but this shimmer pearl is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love it. So I am not disappointed by this look at all whatsoever. Everything else that's on my face, I will also link down in the description box below if you are curious what else I used. But um, the shimmer, no, I can't. I love it. The mattes that I used were the usual good blend bunny formula, pigmented yet blendable, easy, didn't get fallout, nothing like that. So, all right, let's go on to look number two. Okay, so look number two. All I've done so far is I've primed my eyes with the Rare Beauty Eye Primer, and I put a little tiny baby wing on each eye with some liquid eyeliner. I'm gonna do something winged out, like a smoky winged liner. What do we think? I love doing a smoky wing liner because you don't have to be super precise. It doesn't have to look absolutely perfect, which is great. I'm here for that. So I'm gonna take an angled brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Black Sea, which is the black in the palette. And I'm basically going to go over this line that I've done with my liquid eyeliner, just making it slightly thicker and a little bit longer, just to add a little bit more oomph to it. See, already by adding that black liner to this eye, it looks so much like more dramatic and it wasn't that difficult. It's definitely easier doing this than trying to make this shape with a black liquid eyeliner, in my opinion. And the best part is if they're not like exactly even, it's totally fine because we're just gonna add more shades on top of it and it'll, it'll end up working itself out. I'm just wiping off that angled brush on a towel and I'm gonna go into the next shade that I wanna use, which is Explore, this like blurple color. I'm gonna pick that up and I'm going to basically place that just above where I put the black and kind of slightly layer it over as well. And honestly, you could leave it just like this. I would do that. But I'm gonna take one more shade, just going slightly lighter. I wanna take the shade Catch Me and do the same thing I just did with Explore, just slightly higher and layer it. Wow, that's very pigmented. Now I'm just gonna go back in with Explore just to bring it back. And now I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush with Catch Me and just try to smoke it out a little bit. Okay, I went off camera and I just put on some concealer, powder, and foundation. Uh, I'm gonna link everything I'm wearing on my face throughout both looks down in the description box, but you literally, I would literally just leave the look like this, all matte with the wing just on the top lash line. I think that is so pretty and really like simple, but there's a little pop of color but we're going there today. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Explore and I have another angled brush and I'm basically just gonna run this on my lower lash line, probably about halfway in, but I am definitely gonna spray the brush because it's blue. I don't want that on my under eye, like any fallout. So just gonna run this along my lower lash line. I'm gonna take that pencil brush that I used earlier, just gonna wipe it off 
and I'm going to mix both Explore and Catch Me and just run that on my lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with that same angled brush and I'm gonna go into Bioluminescent and I'm gonna put that on the lower lash line towards the inner part and I am going to also spray this just to eliminate any fallout. That shimmer shade is so pretty, I can tell. That all over the lid would be like a mermaid dream. I'm actually gonna go into the shade Lost at Sea, which is like a slightly more green toned blue, like more of like a aqua. And I'm gonna place this in my inner corner as well as onto the lid. I love how this looks so far. So I'm gonna go off camera, I'm gonna put on the finishing touches and then I will be right back to show you the finished look. All right, so this is the finished look number two. What do you think? I love it, as usual. I think this is such a fun way to wear blue because I've said in the past, like blue isn't my ultimate favorite eyeshadow color to wear. I've always found it pretty intimidating. So I like to just add a couple pops of blue. I feel a little more comfortable with it and it's still fun to play with color. I also love a winged out look. I am a winged liner girl, I just am. So I love this look. I think it looks so pretty. And there are so many other ways you can adjust it. You can change out all the pops of color for a completely different color. There's so many options in this palette. You could do pop of pink, pop of purple, pop of green. So I just think this is pretty universal. I love it. Quality on everything has been great. I mean, I have no complaints. The usual great blend bunny formula for the mattes. The shimmers I'm gonna continue to play with. I only used pearl all over my lid and just a little bit of bioluminescence on the lower lash line, but I wanna be able to continue to play with the shimmers because that is the formula with Blend Money that I feel like every time there's a palette released, the formula is a little different. So from using these couple shades, they do remind me of the All Done Up palette. So I think it's like the new formula, really, really pretty. I really have been enjoying this palette. As you can probably tell, I really enjoyed using it and creating these two looks. Let me know what looks were your favorite. I'm interested to know if you liked them both, if you liked one more than the other, let me know down in the comments. But I'm just gonna be looking at myself in the mirror for the rest of the day. So you agree? What? You think you're really pretty. Let me know down in the comments if you picked this palette up, if you enjoy the brand, if you decided to skip out on it, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly, both beauty and fashion videos, and I would love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.